as an EV value, it's, it's been set up by uh, So that's already set up. So you use a uh, system of calculating that's already set up. And uh, so that's already made for you to define that. So, and that's rigid. That is a rigid reference. Now the rigid reference is time. is uh, a day is a revolution. Well, a uh, is, is a rotation. And a uh, year is a revolution around the sun. And all of that is rigid. It's abstract. Distance is a light year. So distance is defined as the distance between the earth and the sun. Using time, which is the day, you know, the rotation of the earth, one time is the day to define how fast light gets from the sun to the earth, which is then a, the speed of light. So, or an astronomical unit. So, um, you got all these rigid forms of uh, uh, reference by which everything is being calculated as far as beyond. astronomical values and, and observations have been recorded and, and calculated. And now it's rigid. Can't break that mold. And that's that is precisely the reason why relativity relativity cannot be has not been no one has been able to uh, unify field theory with the real world. Because you're using macroscopic observation to define quantum observation. And quantum is below the microscope. below the atomic. And see, those levels are even rich. And break those molds in. Quantum field theory, all of the uh, uh, students professing or otherwise agree Field theory is the way to go. But how can you go that way if you're on the road, of, on a macroscopic road? How are you going to find the field theory that can unite the quantum? Accepted. The fields and particles are, have a dual relationship. And that is rigid and unbreakable. That mold is pretty much cast. And 
true for all intents, intents and purposes. Let's examine the definition of a matter. Matter is mass that we can interact with, and objects that we can interact with, things that we can see, hear, feel, and touch. Particles. Atomic particles are things that we see, feel, hear, and touch. And so that's math. Subatomic particles are virtual. So you instantly jump from see, feel, hear, and touch to expressions to the abstract expression. Here it's, it's already impossible to accept any uh, the truth of what you what, what, what the community is all teaching the field theory is the way to go you're not you're not accepting your own philosophy Fields as the only objective form of interaction, see, feel, hear, and touch. Now, now and that is the truth. That is the only way we interact with any, any with our environment is through um, we see it, we feel it, we touch it. It's Sunday, y'all. So it's Sunday dinner. I mean, uh, uh, prepared for future casserole. <laughs> All right, but anyway, um, the. Just accept feels is what we see here, feel and touch, because in fact, because in truth, in truth that's that's what we're we're see, seeing, that's what we're feeling, that's what we're touching, that's what we're interacting with, that's what we're made out of, uh, that's what we uh, uh, are immersed in. Now, any neurosurgeon will tell you. I, I had uh, the. Uh, the uh, unfortunate, however, exponentially fortunate opportunity to speak with the neurosurgeons. And this was uh, prior to uh, any uh, real uh, uh, injury. Now, any real life-threatening injury. Now, I was bitten by a, 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 a dog. Now, I love dogs, love them, and love them, love them, love them, love them. Real good, good little baby. Uh, but uh, uh, this dog, for, for some, for, for uh, whatever reason, didn't like me very much. 
and I was bitten right here, right, right there. See, and here's the teeth. This is where the pit bull sunk into my arm. Now, from here to here, I lost my feeling because it destroyed the nerves here, and uh, it's it's pretty much back now. And, and believe it or not, the uh, neurosurgeon, the, the doctor, the, yeah, the neurosurgeon, they told me that um, I, I was lucky to still have uh, movement in my hand, and that um, that it would heal, and I didn't have rabies, and it would heal, and um, however, the healing process of, of nerve tissue takes a long amount of time. And they grow about a centimeter a year, and they told me that uh, it's healing, and it's going to continue to heal, but by the time it's done healing, you'll be dead. <laughs> so uh, that's where time outlived. Well, that's where my uh, the the constant of nerve regeneration uh, exceeded my parameter, my radial distal parameter.